The uh, mental health assistance program is funded through federal grant for early diversion services way back in 2018 now. Uh, Partners Health Management put in an application to provide early diversion services to assist those individuals with serious mental illness and or co-occurring substance use disorders, avoid unnecessary jail time and or a placement in the emergency rooms where they would not get the assistance that they needed. Mental Health Assistance Program is a SAMHSA funded program that's a five-year grant that was meant to build the infrastructure and the programmatic capacity to help folks with mental health conditions who engage with law enforcement in the community. And if they're having mental health conditions that, that caused or is part of that engagement, that the uh, law enforcement would then transport or support that person to get services versus being arrested. So by this redirecting individuals to, you know, redirecting them out of our criminal justice system, the cost is huge for the community to reduce the effects of crime and the side effects that come from the mental health substance use issues that we have within our community. There's so many folks that come in that just need a little extra encouragement, a little extra help. But most importantly, they need a little extra, what I like to say, case management in the fact that they need an advocate and they need to know and understand they've got an advocate, that there's an opportunity for people to grow and forge a relationship to where they can continue their recovery together with a program like this. So it's it's a... Uh... It's like a, a mushroom effect, you know, that, that they're making this decision, but then as they get back into the community, it grows because it helps the employers. Uh, we don't have as many criminal uh, uh, victims in our community, and I am a victim advocate, and that's it's a good job, but it's a bad job. I, I, I work with the victims, but our goal is to reduce the victimization. My view is that there's a lot of people out there that want to help and there's a lot of people out there that need the help. And we're, I think we're at a point right now where the stigma is, is lessened, you know, in our community. But there's still a lot of work to do to get these people um, the services they need. It's very important to communicate this need in our community to have these folks be able to have some kind of linkage um, back into the community and, and as some kind of a stable life again. They need that hand um, reached out to them without it being felt like it's going to be slapped every time. Police officers are going to do what police officers do. If the, if the crime, you know, is severe enough, you know, I'm not going to see them. But if there's an opportunity um, that they see that these, these people um, need another avenue, you know, we express that need to free up our, you know, the emergency rooms and the jail cells and be able to give these people another shot instead of, you know, coming right out of the gate with, you know, the hammer and punishing them, you know, right off for something that, you know, yes, they might, they acted in, a, in a, a way that wasn't responsible, but at the same token, you know, there was a need for them to receive medications or some help to get them back to their you know, normal functioning in our community. I needed everything. I, I didn't have anything at all. I had just did eight years and I was in a wheelchair and nobody even let my PO know that from the prison. They just threw me out. I wouldn't have had any place to go, any food or anything to that degree. Uh, Jim Myers and uh, like I said, some other organizations that he works for, with provided all those things for me, along with housing for a month and a half. In the broad picture, people are going to be healthier. If people are healthier, the community is going to be healthier. And communities are made up of neighborhoods, neighborhoods are made up of families, and families are made up of individuals. So if we can have the individuals healthier, then that's going to be a ripple effect for the community as well. And that's from the top down, the community, and from the bottom up, the individual. And um, 
that's why this program is important because there's so many ways in which our communities are not healthy right now and this is one small step that could have a have a huge impact and has had a huge impact in people's lives and how that happens depends on upon the buy-in of the community we have to always try to make sure that those people who are influential in decision making are aware of of what we do and the benefit that it has for the community a lot of times it's a one-off event and they're very thankful for us being there to be able to interact with them and share again where they were on their journey before and it helps them realize that they want to get back there again quickly and resume you know whatever recovery they were doing whether it be mental health and substance abuse or just mental health you know or just substance abuse but um you know i think that 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 in itself is, you know, the best way to describe the need in our community. If we're honest with each other, the reality is everyone watching this has either a family member or an individual in their family that is affected by mental health or a substance use uh, disorder. We all have seen it. Uh, it's not the thing that used to sit on the fringes anymore. It, is, it has come to, the, come to everyone's living room now. So in that, uh, it does create that stigma that needs to be broken down to let everyone know that, you know, hey, there's, there's help for this and it's not, uh, we shouldn't shove folks aside because of that and just compartmentalize that, you know, the easiest thing to do is let's send them to jail or prison. That's not the, the solution because in that, once that happens is you create that avalanche of stuff on the other side that really wasn't necessary if they would have gotten connected on the front side uh, before that with a, a mental health provider or some good peer support from PQA and, and other organizations in the in the community.